like it, but there's nowhere to sit. Look at this. People just standing in the aisleways and the passageways. It's been a long, long morning. Sometimes days don't go according to plan. But it'll be okay. 1.15. So we're only like four hours behind where we wanted to be. Before we go see all these sites, we were told there was a dish we had to try. It's called Complet Lepinha. So we got some ham. There's cheese. I kind of wish it had a bit more cheese. It's like the perfect like breakfast. Really heavy, it'll keep you full way past like noon. This synagogue was built in 1900. There were about 4,000 Jews living in Novi Sad before the Second World War out of about a population of 80,000. Of those, it's only estimated that 1,000 survived. This is the fifth synagogue, fifth, erected here since the 17th century. From this building on April 26, 1944, Novi Sad Jews were deported to the Nazi extermination camps. Can we come inside? Yes. I think that was the first synagogue I've ever been in. And I guess it's not currently in use uh, anymore, but thought it was really beautiful. It's been a while, but we have a guest returning to the show. The Blueberry. Hi guys, I missed you. <laughs> did you miss me? Of course they did. So it's already come to be an adventurous, not go to plan day. You know, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Vojvodina was more Austro-Hungarian than it was Ottoman. So that's why you have like these cities that have these like very European streets and promenades. Yeah, it looks like straight out of Central Europe. Are you guys ready for some parkour? This church has definitely seen better days. Look, there's like, the face is completely worn off. That one's head's broken off. There's crack. don't want the backstory and so you're depriving the viewers of my life and everything I go through to get iced coffee. The big hand is hour and the little hand is minutes and they did that so fishermen on the river could read the clock tower. We're in Novi Sad on the fortress. What's the fortress called? Novi Sad fortress. What's its historical significance? It was built um, as a fortress and it stayed that way. What is it now? A fortress. Do you think they'll do anything with it in the future? It might still even be a fortress in a hundred years from now. Pretty nice place to put a... Fortress? It's a like camera over there, but this gate is open. Should we check it out? Let's go. We have two hours until the train leaves, but we have to walk like at least 45 minutes to get back to the train station. I feel like we didn't see a whole lot of the city. I feel like there's a lot more the city has to offer. If you live in Novi Sad, can you tell us like the biggest things that we missed? Oh, I messed up earlier. This part was conquered by Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent of the Ottoman Empire. Simmered down. You got a seat? Yeah, I just kind of tried to avoid eye contact so I wouldn't feel obligated to give it up. It was even busier than on the way here. Just must like oversell tickets or something. Yeah, there's a lot of people standing. Is that normal here in Belgrade or in Serbia? 
Twice we've come to this restaurant, Mesos Dea, because we've been told by multiple locals they have really good Philly cheesesteaks. And each time we've come, it's been closed. And we don't know why, because like, it says the hour says they should be open. Was, I, was, I was really excited to try it. We take back everything we said. We're standing outside the restaurant. The owner just showed up. Said they were working at this like street food festival that we went to, but we couldn't find them. And now he's going to give us a ride so we don't have to walk in the rain. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Okay, <laughs>